This is ITTV. Our next guest is here to talk about the changing role of the workstation and high-performance computing. A lot of very cool things going on here in the Intel exhibit where we're coming to you from at SIGGRAPH. He is the Director for Technical Compute Marketing with the Intel Data Center Group, John Hedgefeld. John, welcome back and welcome into tomorrow. How are you, sir? I'm great. It's a great day today. I'm glad to have you with us. And first, thanks for putting up with us and allowing us to take up some space in the Intel exhibit uh, as Director. Glad to have you with us. Thank you, sir. Director, Technical Compute Marketing. I thought maybe Rob forgot an R on the word compute, but that's actually the group, the, the title. What does that mean? What so, do you do? So um, Intel is divided into some operating businesses. One of them is the Data Center Group, and the Data Center Group has a collection of, uh, of products that support uh, servers and workstations and uh, uh, communication products and some other things. Uh, in uh, professional applications. Mm. And my specific area is I'm segment marketing director for working with end users and ISVs and OEMs getting at uh, applications of workstations uh, to professional markets, hence technical computation, uh. and applications of high-performance computing also in technical markets, hence technical computation. So it's director of the technical compute marketing for the data center group. Gotcha. And, of course, it sounds very appropriate, then, that you would be here at SIGGRAPH. Oh, absolutely. Where there's a whole lot of high-end, cool things going on. Oh, that's great. It's um, The digital content creation market is one of the key uh, users of both workstations for the creation of content and then uh, uh, the server compute products for the rendering and the, the creation of animations and so on. So that's one area. The second is... Uh, people using, uh, for example, things like Autodesk or uh, uh, similar products to uh, develop uh, 3D simulations and models for things like buildings or uh, car parts or something like that. So uh, all of that winds up having an intense graphical computation function and design computation function. That's uh, a key part of what we care about. Oh, so cool. this show has been great for us. We've, we've been able to uh, to highlight a number of our partners' products. We've, we've got some new, uh, new workstation products here. We've got some great software technology here to help uh, developers in this area to uh, improve the performance of their applications by accessing more of the compute technology that's coming down the road. So it's been a really good show for us. And while our highlight video will certainly show a lot of the Intel exhibit and some of the workstations and various things, you guys do a remarkable job, I discover, at all of these trade shows with really not only highlighting partners that you work with and work with you, but allowing them to do some pretty cool networking. So they're generating more and more creativity out of the things from one workstation to another. It's like, hey, have you seen this? And, whoa, I can help you with that. That's pretty cool. So one of the things uh, you know, we, we talk about being sponsors of tomorrow, which, yes. is, which is a fun sort of logo for us. But it's it's part of what I care a lot about and what Intel cares a lot about, which is the sponsoring of innovation, how to create new technology, uh, both from our ecosystem partners, how to, how to improve the performance of applications, how to do more cool things with the technology you have, uh, and how to, as a system of companies working together, bring that technology to market. So our working with ISV, uh, uh, the uh, software software companies, and working with the uh, uh, computer system companies uh, really is to try and accomplish that. So there's an emergence of, for example, 3D applications uh, and getting the compute in place for 3D applications is a key part of one of the things that we're working on right sure. now. Uh, and uh, getting the, the software technology in place to do that and the hardware technology in place to make compelling and immersive experiences for that. Mm -hmm. Is, is central. So it takes a lot of collaboration. It takes a lot of work. You know, I spend a fair amount of my time here at the show actually talking with these partners and talking about what we might do together to be more successful as a, as a team of companies uh, serving end users in this space. And that's a good point about end users because we talk about high core counts and things like that. No doubt helping developers of various cool products and content and whatnot. But for us consumers, a lot of what's going on, like here in the Intel exhibit, ultimately benefits us with not only great entertainment or great medical advances and very cool things, but in the long run allows us to do many things we could never do as consumers before either. Yes, yeah, exactly. So um, 
a, a part of this show is about experience. So it's it's about the immersive experience that a person might feel in content, mm-hmm. in graphics displays or in medical technology or something like that. And uh, as that the bar rises on the immersive experience, what you need is more things happening at once in a scene. So if you take a look at an avatar, you took, take a look at a, 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 a Sony Imageworks movie or something coming out of uh, RenderMan, uh, what you're getting is very compelling visual scenes that have many elements acting at once. And the compute job in that space to make that compelling experience is to have lots and lots of threads operating concurrently, mm. doing complex calculations to make that scene work. And really, the, all these threads, the cores, the brains, the multiple opportunities here for processors to do their job and do it well, not only makes it so much easier for all the various developers, but as a consumer, we benefit in yeah. seeing such rich content. Yeah, your experience is, is much more compelling. The um, you know when, when you when you see Avatar in 3D, mm-hmm. you're blown away by the depth of the design that's gone on to make an, an immersive experience. And that design is reflected through the technology, hopefully seamlessly. Yeah. Uh, so you're transported when you, ex- when you experience this stuff. You're more in the game. You're more in the movie. You're more in uh, you know, some of the other work we do where you're, you're doing a better job modeling the oil flow coming out of the Gulf. Mm-hmm. Or you're doing a better job at understanding weather simulation in Japan for when's the next typhoon going to hit. Wow. Uh, so it, it impacts us uh, as, as consumers, both in the way our lives uh, uh, operate, you know, targeting the right things at the right places. John, we've got to get you back on again, because there's so many cool things that you and your group are working on that we've got to get a little more insight next time. And I thank you for spending a few minutes with us, and thanks for uh, working with uh, our broadcast here in the Intel exhibit this year. It's a great pleasure.